Hey guys, and welcome back to another Mention Before tutorial. Today is part 5 of our Animal AI series. So today we're going over how to make the animal run away from noise. So we're going to give the player noise and make the animal run away. So in this I'm going to be using a dynamic footstep system for the player. I'm not going to go over setting that up in today's video, however I do have a separate video going over how to set that up, but I'm going to be advancing upon that. So again, if you haven't seen the video of creating an advanced footstep system, I'd recommend watching that. The only reason I'm not doing that in this series is because it's not really a part of this. This is the animal AI, that's something for the player. So I'm not going over that as a lot of you already have it. Again, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below and we're gonna be advancing on that. So I'd recommend doing that first. Let me just show you a quick overview of what it looks like. So we have here this anim notify for our footstep. And what it's gonna do is just see which surface we're on. So we get the surface type and then here it's gonna use that to set which footstep sound we need to play as and then play that sound at the location of wherever we are. So this is our footstep sound and you see we have sound on there. The only reason I have that is you don't need it. I just have it because here I want to make it so I can turn it on and off. And I mainly did that just for testing and showing you guys what it is. So I can have it so the animal does run away and it doesn't run away because I have the sound on and off. So that's why I've got that. So let me close this and then we'll get right into it. But again, make sure you have that advanced footstep system or any form of footstep system or basically anything where you're making noise what I'm doing today is going over how to actually make that noise that you have in your game detectable for the AI. So let's get right into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our animal AI blueprint. So for me that's content, animal variety pack, deer, stag and doe, new deer doe BP here. So this is where we're going to make it so the animal can detect the noise. So what we're going to do is we're going to add component up in the top left. We're going to add AI perception. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a census config here. So hit the plus array element. And I'm going to make this AI hearing config. And we can open that up there, open the sense, open detection by affiliation, and we're going to tick detect enemies, neutrals, and friendly. So any noise is going to spook him. Again, I'm doing that specifically because this is a deer, they get scared by everything. Everything else we can leave the same there. I'm going to compile and save that. So now we want to do something for when it actually detects a noise. So if we scroll down on the right here under the events, we're going to get on target perception updated here like so. And out of this, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the stimulus and we're going to break AI stimulus like so. Then we're going to get a branch. So we're going to hold down B, left click to get a branch, connecting that into there. The condition is going to be if we're not running. So if the animal is not already running away, then it can be spooked. So we're going to get should run and then get a not boolean. So if it shouldn't run, because if it shouldn't run, that means it can run. So I hope that makes sense when you've been following the previous videos, because obviously should run when that's true, that means the animal is running. So should not run means it's not running. Out of true, what we're gonna do is set should run to be true. So now the animal is running, so tick it there. Or actually we can just get successfully sensed there, because if it did successfully sense it, then we want to be able to run. And out of this, we're going to call function decide next action, and I'm gonna tick skip delay so it starts running immediately. And that's very simple, that is it. This is the code for detecting a noise on the animal. So I'm gonna select that, hit C to comment it, and name this detect noise. So it runs away when it detects a noise. And I'm just gonna move that out to be a bit further down here, like so. Like I said, it's very simple. When it detects noise, it's gonna see if it isn't already running. If it's not, and it did actually sense something, then it's gonna to start to run away. And this isn't just specifically noise, this can be noise or sight or anything like that. But for the moment, I've just set up noise and hearing on the AI perception. So we're going to compile, save. And one other thing we need to do in here is we need to go to our running code. So you see here, I have run away. What I'm going to do is just drag out the decide next action. And on success, just before that, I'm going to set should run to false. So that way we're resetting it back to false if it needs to be. So it's not stuck in a constant loop of running away. And then obviously decide next action to see if it needs to run again. And it'll be able to tell if it needs to run again because we'll still be detecting this or it will be hit again or anything along those lines. So we compile and save. And that is the basic code done for the animal. So now it's going to be able to detect noise and run away when it hears it. Now we just need to set up actually playing noise for the AI to hear. So like I say, I'm going to do that on a footstep system. So I'm going to close this and then go to where my footsteps are, which for me is my character's animation blueprint. So for me, that's content, mannequin, animations, third person, and BP. As you can see, again, this is what I have here. So once again, it's the anim notify, which I have in my animations. 
can then get a line trace down to the floor to see which surface we're currently on and then play a sound effect for that surface. This doesn't need to be a dynamic system, it can just simply be a sound effect. So you can just get the notify and then play a sound effect if you'd like. However, this is what I've got. And again, I'd recommend having this system already done. Because what you want to do is after the play sound at location, we want to just very simply get one node and that is a report noise event like so. The noise location, and we're gonna have as the location of the break hit result. So out of the line trace, out hit, get break hit result. Location is gonna go into the noise location there for me. I'm gonna close that and then just root this to keep it looking nice and organized. So now where does line trace hit, so i.e. on the floor, is where the sound effect is gonna be. You can just use the actual location here because that's where the sound effect is playing. But I could also just connect that into there as well. Either way, all we need to do is just get this one node of report noise event, and now there's gonna be a noise for the AI to hear. The loudness, I'm gonna keep as one. In Skater, you can cast the character blueprint, so try get porn owner can go in there, and that just means that this character here, this player, is the actor which created the noise. So if you want to do something with that, so if it's the character who, set, who creates the noise, or if it's a deer, you can check that there. And again, the way to check that, it's just gonna be in our deer BP, where we have the perception updated down here. You can just get actor there, which is the instigator, like so. A report noise event, and the max range I'm gonna have is 1500. You can set this to whatever you like, but essentially, obviously, the bigger it gets, the more range it has, the lower it gets, the less range it has. And zero means there's no limit, it's just wherever. Again, 1500 is the one I was messing about with earlier and the one that I found when I was testing out the code, and that seemed to be the best for me. So again, customize it for whatever you like, but that seems good for me. If you want it so you can get closer, lower the value. If you want it so you can't get as close, increase the value. We're gonna compile and save, and it's that simple. Now we have it so we're making a noise and the AI can detect said noise. So this report noise event here, you just put that wherever you're creating noise. So if you do this when you're dropping something or where you're shooting a gun or where you throw something at the animal, anything along those lines, get the report noise event anywhere where you want to make noise so the AI can detect. Because the play sound location doesn't do it automatically, we need to actually report it. So now I'm gonna minimize this and hit play to test it out. So because I have it toggle on and off, if I walk around, nothing happens. However, if I press one to turn it on, and you see we have the footstep sounds it says on the top left there and because i'm over here i'm too far away it can't hear us if i start walking closer it should hear us and it should start running away so i think it's around here somewhere there we go it heard us and now it is running away and if i just take those off it should stop running after it obviously finishes this run cycle it shouldn't keep running because it won't be able to hear us again so this works perfectly so again i can toggle it on and off which you won't have probably However, when we do have it on, the deer is going to run away from us. So let's just show that again. If I have it on, I walk around it, it's going to start running away. So this works perfectly for us. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so the AI is going to detect noises and then run away from them or react to them in any way that you choose. But again, in my example, it's running away because it's a deer. They run away from pretty much any noise. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.